Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a Sunday sermon. Today, we are going to be blessed with the presence of St. Francis of Assisi. I know that he's going to have a wonderful message for you. We've been talking to him. He's been with us before. Please tell your friends about our show. I'm sure it's capable of bringing a lot of comfort to a lot of people, especially if you know someone that's having trouble getting out to attend a church of their choice. As you know, we're very non-denominational. Uh, as a matter of fact, next week, we're going to have Buddha return for a message. So it's about as non-denominational as we can get. So anyway, St. Francis is here. So let us begin. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I hope that all of you out there are enjoying your lives. Now, I know that many of you aren't. Very difficult times right now. But it seems as though man always, always makes things very difficult. It seems as though that they do things. It seems as though they make life miserable. It seems as though it's impossible for them to make the right decisions sometimes. It seems like humans, when they have to make a decision, if the right answer is the right trail, they go on the left trail. But you know why that is? Because many people don't pray for guidance. When you pray for guidance, you'll find out that you'll make the right choice. You see, many people don't care about God. All they care about are their daily lives. They know that they want to pursue wealth. They want to pursue maybe greatness, or what they consider greatness. They want to do everything that they can to make their lives comfortable. But in doing that, many of them don't make their lives happy. You see, happiness is not gauged by how much money you have. You see, happiness, happiness is when you're serving God. It's very easy to serve God. All you have to do is live a good life. Treat others kindly. Treat them like you want to be treated. I know that's not a unique message. We all speak the same thing over here. When we get a chance to try to influence humans, we just simply tell them to do what's right. Why is it, do you think, that humans can't understand that simple concept? Well, the answer is free will. Many people use their free will to do what's right. But many people use free will to do what's wrong. If you look at the evolution of humans, you'll see that not much has changed. Oh, now a lot has changed since prehistoric times for them. But if you look at the last two, three thousand years, <clears throat> not much has changed. Humans are very warlike. It seems like they enjoy the violence of war. That hasn't changed. Romans were very warlike. They enforced their will on all of the known world. They had a great army and they used it. Today, humans are very warlike. You have Iran trying to make a nuclear weapon. You have Russia with thousands of nuclear weapons. China with hundreds. Where's the world going? The answer is wherever humans decide they want it to go. It's very, very difficult. There are so many countries right now 
that aren't following God's will. Now, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about countries that have no interest in following God. There's always people in every country that follow God. God is universal. He's Allah. He's the Spirit. He's whatever you want it to be, as long as you understand that there truly is a divine power out there. You see, humans, they just can't seem to make the right decisions. God is giving humans much more technologies. He's allowing them to understand the concept of artificial intelligence. Maybe he's decided that their intelligence aren't enough to ever improve evolution, but I don't think that's it. The human mind is limited. God intends it that way. There's beings on other planets that have unbelievable intelligence because they've learned the truth of evolution. Humans clearly have not learned that lesson. Some, even though the lesson is so simple, they just simply don't learn it. They brainwash the young. They don't tell the truth of what life should be for the young, and then they grow up. They tell the lies to their children. It's a never-ending process. It only ends when all humans pray to God or the saints or angels or whoever they look to for divine guidance. An atheist is lost. Every decision that an atheist makes is based on their own free will. They've already used their free will not to believe in God. So how can their decision-making ever improve? There are many that don't care about other lives. Sadly, some of these people are in charge of great countries. We're seeing that in the Ukraine right now. We're so sad as we watch over there. Russia, their leadership has no regard for human life. <clears throat> they are taking their young and they're sending them to be slaughtered. Well, there'll be a lot of them to pay when they come back, but they probably don't think about that. All they, all, all they care about is their own wealth and comfort. It's very easy to help others. It's become a lot easier through time. I'll, I will give credit to human evolution for that. We have always tried to help. When I walked the earth, I relied upon the Gospels. I tried to do what I could. I tried to study the Gospels. I tried to bring others to God. I tried to bring others to the church. Sadly, the church was misguided. If you look at the early history of the Catholic Church, you'll see terrible things took place because people in the church, the last place you'd expect to see them, there were popes that wanted wealth and power. Things were much different in those days. There were not many choices of religion. You see, it was God's will that there would be new churches arrive, arise in his name. He realized that the single church was not accomplishing his will. So he had to 
individuals such as Martin Luther come and break, break away from the Catholic Church, form the Protestant religion, create religions that would honor his name in different ways. Many of those religions have gone astray. Now there are religions that are more dedicated to raising money and having power than they are to praising God and helping those that need help. So you see, you see what I'm talking about and the way that humans evolve. They succumb to a free will where the decisions are not made by those that serve God, but they are made by the individual who could care less about God. People that don't believe in God, they've got problems. You see people that continuously make bad decisions throughout their lives. You don't, in many instances, you don't have to ask whether they believe in God or not because you know they don't. They do not have the benefit of spiritual guidance. Spiritual guidance will never lead you away from God. There are those out there that even worship Satan. They're too stupid to even understand Satan doesn't exist. Evil energies exist, but Satan itself does not. It's a personification of evil energy. People that worship the personification of evil are examples of the lowest type of humans. Not only do they not worship God, they worship something that doesn't exist. Humans. We worry about them. We fear that they're going to self-destruct. We watch the growth of depression and humans. Many people are having trouble coping with what's going on around them. Very difficult times. They read newspapers, listen to the news. They see the slaughter going on in a major war. They worry that some idiot's going to fire a nuclear weapon. They worry that humans can be wiped, wiped off the face of the earth. And It is something to worry about. If you base human performance on their histories, they should be depressed. The only way that humans are going to find happiness is to change. They're going to have to understand that only happiness comes when you follow the commandments of God. People, they say they may not be an atheist. They just simply don't know whether to believe or not. Are they blind? Have they ever looked at a baby? Have they ever looked at the beauty of the earth? Can't explain it. Miracles are all around them. If you're listening to these words right now, you're hearing a miracle. Have you ever tried to speak the words of somebody on the other side, let alone a Holy Spirit? Go ahead, try it. You'll find out what a miracle is. We gave Barry the ability, or God gave him that ability, to create a miracle every time he speaks 
with the spirit from the other side. He could not do this without God. It's only God that allows it. You see, Barry well understands that. He knows. He knows it's his mission to bring the words of God from the other side of the life veil. He knows that it is his mission in life. Now, he's done many other things. But speaking a miracle, that's what he's supposed to be doing. Tell your friends about these miracles. Make your friends understand that happiness is available for everyone. You can be happy with and have discomfort. Everyone has something wrong with them. From the day they are born, they are preparing for their death. What they learn will bring them happiness through their lives, and it will avoid any fear of their time of passing. Because when they pass, they know that they will go to heaven. If they live a good life, they will be judged well, and they will have a wonderful experience in heaven. You have no reason to fear death. You only fear death if you think it is the true end. If you think that the decomposition of the body in the grave is the end, you'll never know happiness. But if you truly understand that when that soul leaves that human body, a wonderful experience begins. Your soul has everlasting life. Your soul will go to heaven. Your judgment will be decided by how you behaved as a human. If you simply love others, do the best you can, raise your children well, help others throughout your life, and until until your day of passing, do what you can to support others in understanding and believing in God. Don't let the pursuit of wealth, power, don't let the pursuit of that be your undoing. God loves it when he blesses people and they do really well, and then they do what they can to help others. That is when God is is as happy as he can be with humans. But God also knows the human frailties. That is why the soul is sent back to be a human as a test. Human lives aren't easy going to be hard, but you can make it as easy as possible. The simple act of believing in God and following his words is the true path to happiness in heaven. I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for telling others. I want to thank you for reading God's words. I want to thank you for many things, but especially thank you for believing in God. Goodbye, and I hope you invite me back again sometime. Thank you very much, Francis. It was a wonderful speech. They all are. We got about 400 videos up on YouTube, so you can hear many of the of the great great souls of the past speak to you. I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday. I hope you always have a, have a wonderful day. Tell others about our messages. 
I guarantee that those messages will lead you to where you want to go. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.